There are billions of lizards alive across the world, but out of all of them, one species stands out as unique. But what the hell, but? Chameleons. You see, chameleons have the ability to be bred to have extremely rare color patterns, like a literal rainbow. But I just came across the rarest color variation that I have never seen before. This beautiful red and blue chameleon that literally looks like a Nintendo Switch. Just to represent how rare this is, let's say there's a billion lizards on Earth and about 1,000 of those are a chameleon with this exact color morph. That would mean there is a 0.000001% chance of this existing. And sure, it may cost $899, but this is going to easily be one of my coolest pets ever and once i get it i'll show off some special abilities of chameleons that many of you have probably never seen before but it's gonna take a few days until it gets shipped out to my house so in the meantime i probably should build up an enclosure for the chameleon with everything it could possibly need to live an amazing life and of course to build that i'm gonna need the giant 120 gallon terrarium and hundreds of dollars worth of supplies but to start the build, the only thing we actually need is some dead leaves and bark. You see, to make the floor for a chameleon, you don't want to use normal materials like dirt. This is because chameleons have these special tongues that when they're shot out, they'll pick up stuff like dirt on the floor and eat it, which will make the chameleon sick. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So even though this floor is super simple, it's actually perfect. But of course, the rare Nintendo Switch chameleon I'm getting is gonna need a lot more than this in this enclosure. Yeah, this is just definitely not enough. So for step number two, I got a whole bunch of wooden branches. Now, as you can see, I installed these two metal bars going across the enclosure, which I'll start by covering in the branches I have. I made sure to make the branches reach all along the top of the enclosure, the bottom, the sides, and literally everywhere. And after they were secured in place with zip ties and foam, I covered up most of that ugly stuff with some moss and leaves. So, uh, it doesn't look like a five-year-old made this anymore. I also got a bunch of these vine things, which are basically these long, bendable, uh, rubber sticks that recreate the look of jungle vines, and they curve all around the enclosure. Okay, if I'm being honest, this does look a little bit cluttered and messy right now. But trust me, coming up in this video, I got some stuff planned that's gonna make this, uh, you know, actually look good and be an actually good enclosure. And plus, all these branches and vines are actually very necessary to allow the chameleon to climb and swing around the entire enclosure. And don't worry, guys because I'll be getting plants to cover up these big ugly foam things in the corner. Speaking of plants, I should probably put some in here since that's the next step to finishing this amazing home. But uh, I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna go to the plant store. Now, of course, I drove to Walmart, as always, to buy my plants. And the plant section was actually amazing this time. I mean, they had a way better selection than they usually do. Just look at all of them. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen this? $15 for this giant plant. Okay, that is actually a super good deal. You're only going to see deals like that at Walmart. That is why I come here, guys. So I picked out all the plants the rare chameleon could possibly want and brought them home. All right, so obviously I've got plants now, but you'd be stupid if you think I'm just gonna put these straight into the enclosure. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to make these plants way, way better. And what I mean by that is I'm gonna make them look extra cool with some animal safe red and blue paint. Yeah, I'm gonna paint these plant pots to be the same color as the chameleon I'm getting. I don't know why, I just think it'll look cool, okay? Yeah, yeah I, did, I did this on every plant pot, it took forever. But after letting the paint dry for a few hours, I started to scatter the plants along the floor and sides of the enclosure and in no time i was done and check this out this looks uh i mean it looks all right i mean the plants and everything look fine but maybe the blue and red pots were not the best idea the paint kind of started to fade it's not even blue anymore but it's still pretty funny and i bet the chameleon's gonna like to see some of the stuff of his same color so uh anyways i'm gonna get to the next step let's just go to the next step right now let's go to the next step okay anyways on the to-do list there's two more steps to make this a chameleon dream home starting with some basic technology and what this means is i've got a bunch of technology like this light bulb which is necessary but to be honest it's nothing special this light bulb in specific generates heat and as you can see right in the basking spot under the heat lamp it reaches up to 90 degrees which is perfect and of course in a cooler part of the enclosure it reaches about 70 degrees so the chameleon won't get too hot or nothing you know we don't want that chameleon to get heat stroke <laughs> But another basic technology you need is a long UVB light bulb, which recreates the same UV rays the sun does. And basically, this lets the chameleon get vitamin D or something. It's pretty complex biology stuff, but it's very important. And finally, I set up a simple water misting system, which, you know, you just press a button and it starts spraying water all around the enclosure. 
Yeah, pretty simple, but it's very necessary. Okay, well, now that the boring technology is over, let's get some fun custom advanced technology in this enclosure. At the start, I got this big, cool blue thing. You see, earlier at Walmart, I saw these toys that were apparently made by the YouTuber Mr. Beast. And, you know, I love Mr. Beast. So I bought this egg-looking one, which I had an idea for how I could use in the chameleon enclosure. So I pressed a button to open it up, and inside was, uh, this thing. Uh, what the heck is this? Okay, I guess inside there's a Mr. Beast toy that makes that annoying noise. Well, I don't really know what I was expecting, but I guess let me just uh, put this inside the chameleon enclosure and uh, there we go. If you're wondering why I put this in here, well, I was just thinking I want to give the chameleon a nice friend and you know, this is kind of animal looking thing. So, okay, I'm sorry, this is stupid. Let's just go to the next technology. And now next on the to-do list, this one is even cooler than the last. All right, so for the second thing I'm adding in here, basically I just wanted to make it look more like a home. And as you know, most homes have paintings around their house because that's just what homes have. So I'm gonna add my own custom painting inside of here. And to get the custom image made, I asked AI to make a picture of a red and blue chameleon wearing a suit. And, uh, oh, oh, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. Wait, okay, we're gonna put this painting inside the chameleon's home. Oh, this is gonna be pretty cool. So I drove to the printing store and printed the image out, hoping no one around me would see me getting these stupid looking paintings. Bruh. And uh, there we go, check it out. This looks pretty, I mean, I mean, the painting looked kind of cool, but uh, I don't really know why I added this either. It's a little useless, but anyways, this entire enclosure is actually pretty much finished. I don't know anything else I can add to it. So I guess it's just time to add the rare red and blue chameleon inside. Let's just cut to then. So as you can see, I got the lizard right here and uh, I don't know what I'm doing outside. I should probably just go put them in the enclosure. So I opened up the package and immediately was amazed by its beauty. Oh my gosh, this thing looks super cool. Okay, wait, this is easily gonna be my coolest looking pet. The only thing to do was open the lid and let it crawl out when it was ready. And of course, it went straight to doing its stupid chameleon dance. Well, what the hell, what? Now, as you can see, the colors on it right now are sort of darker than what they should be. And that's because currently, it's a bit stressed from just getting out of the shipping container. Coming up, I'll be explaining exactly how chameleons change color and why by showing you guys this rare lizard. But for now, I want to show the amazing ability that chameleons have to hunt prey from literally across the enclosure. Now, you guys may not know this, but chameleons actually love crickets, like literally all all my other pets and crickets are pretty healthy for a chameleon, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be feeding him today. So I waited a few hours before putting any crickets in to allow the chameleon to adjust to his new home. And as you can see, soon enough, his color started to brighten up, and that means he's ready to hunt. Come on, crickets, get out, get out. There we go. Yeah, get out. I put a few of the crickets inside, and at first, they sort of just started to mind their own business. Just walking around looking for food, you know. But little did they know that they are about to become food for this guy. Hi, how are you? Now, the first ability chameleons have for hunting is their eyes. As you can see, both of his eyes are able to move in different directions, constantly scanning everywhere around him in front and behind at the same time. And it wasn't long until the chameleon set one of his eyes on one of the little crickets. He started to move into attack position very slowly. Yeah, chameleons are so slow, they're basically slots. And while this cricket thought he was safe, little did he know what was about to happen. Chameleon's second ability, their insane tongue that's over a foot long. Yeah, whenever this chameleon was within a couple feet of a cricket, it locked onto the target and shot its tongue directly towards it. And because the tongue is so sticky, it just brought the cricket in with it so it could enjoy a nice, tasty meal. And after seeing how cool it was when the chameleon hunted, I got a funny idea. Okay, you see this cricket here? I'm gonna get this onto my hand like that. And then I'm literally gonna try and feed the chameleon from my hand. You can see it's right there. Uh, it just jumped off. Okay, take two. We're gonna put this right next to the chameleon's mouth. And there we go, that's the perfect spot. Eat it, bro. Eat it. I wanna see this thing eat from my hand so bad. It's literally right in front of you. Uh, hello? You're just gonna watch it? It's crawling all around my hand. You have the perfect opportunity and you're not doing it. And okay, I think the chameleon's just walking away at this point. I guess he doesn't really wanna eat from my hand. I'm sorry, Cricket, but I'm just gonna, you're gonna get eaten. Anyways, I should probably name this rare chameleon. And like I said earlier, this thing has the exact same colors as a Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna name my chameleon Switch. Yeah, 
I mean, it's a pretty creative name, I know. Anyways, now I'm gonna show you guys exactly how chameleons change color, and it might actually be pretty surprising to some of you. But quickly, I just wanna tell you guys that since the last video, you've increased the amount of people subscribed from 5% to 6%, which is okay improvement, but let's get this to like 50%. So please, if you're enjoying this video at all, just scroll down and click subscribe. Now, anyways, you might have seen me show you guys this video of a chameleon changing colors. And while this virus video is actually very cool to watch it is completely fake yeah chameleons can't actually control their colors like that and in reality they only have the ability to become slightly darker or slightly brighter this happens because it's super tiny cells in their skin that can get bigger or smaller depending on certain conditions like heat you see when i first put switch in the enclosure he immediately ran up to the heat lamp and sat under it which made his color change to be way brighter anyway switch is very cool and i've only just scratched the surface of chameleon care i might even end up doing another video where i breed switch and another rare female chameleon to get an ultra rare chameleon so subscribe if you want to see that but until then this guy is going to be an amazing pet thank you for watching anyways i just want to quickly update all the subscribers who care about the channel so i've seen a couple comments of people asking what i do with my pets after the videos and the answer is with some of them i'll end up donating them to pet shops or friends to take care of them since i make a ton of videos by myself it's hard to give equal care to every single pet so that's why i do that but if you're wondering with all the coolest pets like Mr. Prehistoric the pet dinosaur. I of course keep those and also the walking fish which I'll be showing in an upcoming video so subscribe to see that. And now finally I want to let you guys know that I've started to post custom new content on Instagram. I already have a video posted about Mr. Prehistoric on there where I do a fun little challenge. So if you want to see that and more in the future go follow it. It's the tippity top link in the description. Yeah go follow the Instagram. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, click the video on the screen. You know do all that stuff and follow the Instagram and bye.